Good morning, Soul Family. I'm back. It is already November. Or November. Oh, see, I'm wanting it. It's already September the 6th. I'm getting ready to go for my walk. And I've been wanting to do a video. And I'm thinking, do I do a walking video? I love doing the walking videos. But I feel like I can't really concentrate when I do those. So I thought, okay. My son's going out for a run. My daughter just went to work and I'm getting ready to do my thing, you know, with my little dog and then come back because I've got some writing to do today. And I thought about coming on and talking to you guys real quick before I get going. And uh, first of all, I live under a lot of trees. I mean, a lot of trees. Out this way, there's the creek. And beyond that is the uh, teen center where they play basketball and tennis. You can hear them. But there are a lot of trees. And what's in those trees? But very large spiders. I don't like spiders. <laughs> Do I want to say I hate them? Well, they serve a purpose, of course. We all serve a purpose. Everything does. But I thought... Last night, I was getting ready for bed, and my son was in the kitchen, and he said, Mom, come here, hand me one of your one of your shoes. I wear these slippers around the house, kind of an indoor-outdoor thing. And I mean, I didn't hesitate because I knew. I'm brushing my teeth, and I just come out the door, and I tossed him one of my slippers, and it, of course, went right past him. And he, you know, <laughs> so I took off the other one and threw it to him and he hit the edge of my bed. And he said, come over here. <sighs> there was a wolf spider there about the size of a 50 cent piece. No lie, you guys. And I thought, on my bed? And what have I heard about, oh my gosh, and dogs will start barking. It's because the dog next door is out. Anyway. <laughs> this thing scared me to death and I thought I cannot sleep and so of course before I went to bed I began putting balls of cotton down with pure peppermint oil all around my bed in fact in my bed and that's a, a very nice way to deal with spiders and bugs without putting poison because I've got animals and I don't want them you know I think of my my big golden retriever that used to lay with his face our front door is one of these metal metal doors and there's a gap at the bottom so it doesn't quite you know it just it's the way it fits and uh, my dog used to lay there and his nose was underneath there and I shudder when I think about um, spiders, uh, potato bugs, because in the winter uh, we get a lot of those too. Um, I used to find those on the playground when I was a yard duty. They would hide in the sleeves of the kids clothes. It's like you gotta have gloves. I mean when you when you pull your trash out you know to the curb be mindful of your trash receptacles. Black widows like to hide in there. Anyway, <laughs> that was not my topic today to come on and talk to you guys about, about um, spiders, but it is part of, you know, what do we hate? <sighs> my, my topic today is what holds you back? What keeps you from being who you came here to be? To be that best version of yourself, that soul plan, that soul mission. We are souls coming and living a human experience. <laughs> what holds you back? Okay, Finn, you can stop now. Anyway, what holds you back? You don't believe in yourself? 
you know, belief. What is the belief? It's, it's your perspective, your perception of yourself. What is it? You know? And self-love. Okay? Finn. Finn. That's my daughter's little chihuahua. <laughs> but it all starts with believing in yourself you know guys and it's so hard because you don't always feel in a loving space you don't always feel happy sunshine and roses not everybody does not we all have i hate to use the word good and bad but it's true we have days where we don't feel like you know i mean right now where's the sun i want that sun to come out when that sun comes out i feel like i can I can conquer the world. We're being gifted a little bit of a marine layer because we're gonna have warmer temperatures this weekend. But you know what, it is September and uh, we're almost through to the fall months. Anyway, start, you know, you've, you have to remember it's, it's that mindful thing and it's the self-talk and it's the, what is it our, um, your mantras, your your self-talk, the, the things that you say every day. I am a divine being. I've come here, you know, as a soul to have a human experience. And uh, yeah, we all have parts that we play, but, you know, be mindful and be the best you can be and say, what kind of experience do I want to have today? Who am I today? I am a loving being and I'm going to spread the love because I am I am the love. I've got a piece of God in me, just as you have a piece of God in you. We are all a piece of the bigger source that created us. We're a chip off the old block, as the old saying used to be. And so we want to have a good experience. Therefore, we're going to speak it into being, right? Think about it this way. When you have a dark cloud over your head, it's so easy to say, oh, this dark cloud is disgusting. I hate it. I might as well just give in and let every day be crappy. Let every day, everything today be crappy and shroud yourself. Hunker down underneath that darkness or you can bust out of it while we're waiting for that sunshine to come out. Be that sunshine, picture it inside of you. Um, if you have to, I do this too, you know, make your vision board or what's easier today is to go on Pinterest and create that likeness of being. Create by liking all of the things that make you feel good. It's that simple. And so just as we can sit and marinate in the crappy feelings and look at, you know, what is, Go within and let that higher self say, you know, that's not true. If you can have a bad day, you can have a good day. It's just this force of habit. You can let the bad feelings hold you back or you can say, no, I don't want to feel that way. I want to feel good and I am determined to feel good. That dog over there is not going to let anything hold him back he's going to speak so i'm doing that too you guys go out today and love yourself and make this day the way you want it to be okay and kick the spiders to the curb <laughs> i'm going to you guys bless you all i'll be back with another video as soon as i possibly can i promise peace and have a good one okay i love you all i love me i love me i'm gonna like me i'm gonna love me it's that simple. Bye-bye.